Good morning everyone, welcome. It's day five of the 1K challenge. Today was a similarly tough day to yesterday. As I've mentioned before, we are going through a choppy market at the moment. It's not just myself, but it's also other momentum day traders that are seeing a difference in terms of a lack of follow through. Um, you know, stocks dropping really quickly after after climbing, um, but not holding their gains. Uh, so day five, I took two trades. Uh, let's go through them now. The first trade I took this morning in pre-market at 8.06 this morning was uh, ANGI. Actually, you can see it moving right here at the moment. It's, it's 10.30 in the morning, so the market's been open for an hour. And it's just been choppy as hell as usual. Uh, so I got in here. Uh, I wanted to get filled a thousand shares at nine dollars twelve. Let me bring up the chart. I wanted to get filled a thousand shares here, but I got filled eight hundred, which is okay. And I saw it pop up here. I think it was at nine twenty-four, uh, and I sold. Pretty much 400 shares so half my position and then it wasn't really going up any higher and i sold the remaining 400 pretty much in the same places um at the same price point now the market open here here where you can see the big surge in volume so this is the volume section here you can see that uh at 9 30 market opens you can see that it had a had a high of 968 and now it's climbing back towards those highs but i didn't trade this during the market open just pre-market uh so that was that trade uh, that made uh 92 dollars and then i traded moc i got in once again pre-market only this morning and i bought uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happened i'll tell you what happened here so i bought I saw this going up, it was going crazy, and I bought here, here, and it dropped like a stone to about, so from about 367, it dropped like 340 or even just under it, <coughs> excuse me. So I averaged down here, I bought another 500 shares. So my average was, what was my average? Let's have a look. My average for MOC was 352. So I bought at 365 and then at 340, I think. So my average was at 352. Um, and what did I do then? Right, and then I sold half at $3.70 and half at 356. So I sold half right here at the high of day, as it turned out to be, uh, and the remaining remaining shares here on the way down. So once again, you, you saw this just go from absolutely nothing to a massive, massive, I think it was like 80% move. Um, and this is at 8.30 in the morning. The market opens at 9.30. And then it just started tanking and dropping. So it was good. I Actually, this is a good trade. I mean, yes, I could have got in a bit earlier, but still, um, you know, this was an $80 million contract over three years that this company won with a much bigger company. So it was positive news. And then as the market opened here, you can see 9.30, where's 9.30? Right about here, um, the market opened and it just continued to stay on spiral. So I'm assuming people are just taking profits or the news isn't, isn't that great or people were aware of the news. So that were, they were my two trades for the day. So total profit is $191. Um, I was tempted <clears throat> to look at other trades. I was tempted to look at, um, I think CDXC I was looking at uh, just a few minutes before, um, as it kind of broke uh, three, I think I was looking at it around here when it was getting up to $3.50. Um, I think it went to 354, actually I think it was here. But then it just dropped. And like I said, I mean, th these stocks in this price, price range at the moment are just not holding their gains. Um, if I had taken a thousand shares here, at three dollars fifty three, um, and I mean my stop would have been three fifty, so three cent loss on a thousand shares uh, would have been thirty dollars. But I mean this thing fell, you know, three forty five. So if I got in three fifty four, 
and I'm holding um, 354, that's nine cents, nine times 10, that's that's $90, uh, unrealized loss. And it, I mean, as you can see, it hasn't gone anywhere. I mean, if we pull this out, 350, sorry, 353 where I was looking to get in is about here. And it hasn't gone anywhere near that. It's just kind of hovering there. So, you know, lucky I didn't get in that. And pretty much anything else I was looking at just hasn't done anything in terms of keeping its um, profits or its gains on the day. It's been a really strange, I think, uh, a couple of weeks now at least. So the lessons here for everybody are you got to take smaller positions like I have been. Um, normally, you might see me taking a thousand shares, two thousand shares, you know, sometimes three thousand shares. Um, I'm scaling back big time uh, because it's just really, uh, it's just difficult, you know, it's difficult to make money. Um, I'd rather make $191 and do that consistently for the next X amount of days or weeks, however long it takes for this momentum to change. Then take a big gamble, make a you know make a lot one day or two days, get into a false sense of confidence, and then just screw it up on the third day by losing everything. I mean, and I actually did that, you know, like last week on Wednesday, I had a massive loss of fourteen hundred dollars of real money, um, pretty much based on the fact that there was no momentum. I took four trades; they were all losers, um, and it was uh, quite humbling, but. You know, very, very good lesson for me. And the lesson I took out of that day was that in this market at the moment, if you are a momentum trader, you've got to take smaller position size and you've got to hold it for a lot, lot less. Sorry, for a lot, for a shorter time frame. So whereas beforehand, you know, I was holding anything from, say, a couple of minutes to, you know, to up teen minutes, like 12 minutes or 15 minutes. Now I'm not even taking a thousand shares or two thousand shares i'm taking maybe 500 shares and i'm really watching the price action i have my finger on the exit button the whole time you know because some of these stocks can just plummet um you know any trade i'm in i have my finger on the exit button the whole time and i'm looking at level two i'm looking at time and sales and i'm following the price action i don't really look at the uh, indicators too much like uh, moving averages or anything like that. I have them because I know that other traders use them and you know, trading is a mob mentality. So if I can at least predict whether people are trying to look at support and resistance areas, then you know, I'll do that. But I don't really use them that much. The only time I gauge indicators is if I'm looking to, uh, to get into a trade um, pre-market or even as the market opens for a momentum trade, I will look and see whether it's above the averages so this is a 200 day average this purple line here the green line is the 50 day exponential moving average so these are exponential moving averages uh, the orange line is the 20 day and the blue is the nine day uh, exponential moving average so if a stock is above these four uh, that's something that I take confidence in and that's something that I'm, I'm happy to look at and, and potentially trade uh, as opposed to something that's, you know, sitting below it uh, or, or is on its way down. So um, that's how I use indicators. But for today, uh, a green day, $191. Let me show you the progress chart at the moment. So here I am, I'm beginning to kind of bounce off the bottom here. Uh, I'm still in the red, $710 because of that massive uh, $1,419 loss last week. Um, but look, if I can keep doing what I'm doing, if I can you know, make $200 a day um, consistently, or even you know, just a bit under it, then I'm gonna be in good shape. So you know, the plan was, in all honesty, to reach this $1,000 in about a week, in five days. So the plan was to make $200 a day. And, you know, the first day I started, I made pretty much double what I had expected to make, $368, sorry, net 314 So I wouldn't say double, but, you know, a third more. And then just that second day just absolutely bombshelled me. Um, and even here on that third day, that Thursday, I was actually up uh, $220 twice. But because I was greedy, uh, I ended up losing and I went into the red. Um, Yesterday, I got a little bit lucky because I was sitting in the red 
but I found a stock, I think it was MTBC, that uh, was just going absolutely berserk. It was going gung-ho. And I got in there, and it actually went through a halt, and then it just continued up. I was actually up $580 unrealized at one stage, but, you know, that's fine. It fell a little bit, and I got out. So today was a much more solid day in terms of a lot less risk-taking. I didn't feel uncomfortable at any stage of today. Um, I felt that I was trading within my means, within my comfort zone in terms of size and risk level and, and all that kind of stuff that's very important. Uh, so that's it. So uh, a good start to the month, um, touch wood, that it may continue. Um, you know, the market is what it is at the moment. I'm not going to get greedy tomorrow. You know, if it turns out that tomorrow I come in and there's very little moving, you know, I will probably not even trade. Because the last thing I want to be doing is forcing trades, you know, looking for setups that aren't there just to make some money. Um, because it's just so easy to lose money at the moment. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, you know, I wish you a great remainder of the trading day. It's just 10.40 in the morning, so the market's only been open for an hour. Um, I'm sure there's, you know, lots of interesting stocks you can be looking at. So I will leave you to it, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.